Hey, what's up? Well, last week we took a break because we can. Sorry. This week we are talking about reality TV and the reason that my introduction is so unusually short is because I love reality television. So I'm gonna get started. So since we don't have enough time to talk about every single reality show that I've ever watched, I'm gonna talk about my current favorites. TLC is definitely one of my favorite reality show channels. I've watched all of the big family shows, John and Kate plus eight, Kate plus eight, all of the 19 kids accounting from like when they were back when they were 17 kids and counting. Table for 12, Quince by Surprise, watched them all. I hate them all, but I love them all. By far my favorite is Table for 12. I actually don't watch that much John and Kate plus eight just because I don't think I should give that horrible, horrible woman any more money than she already has. But by far my my most recent and most terrifying addiction to TLC reality shows has become Say Yes to the Dress. I'm so sorry guys. The thing is that I don't even want to have like a big wedding, so I don't understand the mentality of these brides, but I love watching how fucked up they are. There's this one lady, she needed three, three wedding dresses. Who are you? Where do you live? Bravo. I watched Kathy Griffin My Life on the D-List, which is just, it's like, this is best, best. Probably one of my favorite reality shows of all time. I think Bethany Ever After is the one that I've watched a lot. That bitch. Cool, cool. Then we went to Lifetime, Dance Moms. Dance Moms is about a dance studio in Pittsburgh. I don't know what state Pittsburgh is in. The dance director, Abby Lee Miller, and she teaches these like six or seven little girls how to do dances and they're really good dancers and you just kind of like fall in love with all of them and how much they dance and how much they love dance and how much they love each other. Basically Abby is sad on the inside and she takes all of that sadness on the inside and just yells and tears apart these tiny little girls. Lifetime also has Dance Moms Miami which I like because there's two dance directors and they're both sassy but I don't like because it's more obviously scripted. Like, both shows are definitely scripted in my opinion, but Dance Moms Miami is so obviously scripted. And we're gonna finish out today with MTV. I definitely haven't talked about all of the reality shows that I wanted to, but I have to stop sometime. There are the three big ones for me. 16 and Pregnant, which most people can't stand because they think it glorifies teen pregnancy. So it just like, it's all unadulterated drama and hysteria. Season two, probably my favorite season right now, but we'll see, season five is getting kinda intense. Teen Mom, I'm going back and forth on Teen Mom now, like it's starting to get a little bit boring. And then recently I started watching all of the Osbournes. The Osbournes has made it into my top five favorite reality television, all because of Ozzy. I hate those kids with the fighting all the time really, really stresses me out. So now that you all know that I'm horribly, horribly addicted to- oh, I forgot mobs, mob wives. Fuck. Uh, reality television. I don't know if anyone this week is going to be as bad as me. I think Michelle might, might hold a candle to my reality TV addiction, but I think Michelle likes scripted TV a lot more than I do. Which is not to say that I don't like scripted TV, it's just that I don't have time with all the reality TV. Bye! That was so creepy. What did I do?